Hi, this is Donna Kellner. I'm here today to tell you a little bit about how you can create your own waxed linen from linen thread that is not waxed. About the easiest thing you can do is take a little hunk of beeswax and after you thread your needle just simply draw the thread across the wax several times until it's the level of, of waxiness that you want. And some people will even iron their thread. But I'm kind of lazy and I like to just do it and get it all done in one fell swoop. So what I do is, this is some linen, it's a different weight, but it's the same type of linen that I dyed with uh, fiber reactive dyes. So these are Procyon MX dyes. And then I wind it onto the Nitty Knotty so that I have a nice little skein. And I'm going to wax the skein. So I'm going to set up my little improvised double boiler. There's my burner, my saucepan, put a little water in the bottom of the saucepan, get the heat started, and then I have a little can of beeswax that I melt. Now, just remember, you never leave melting wax unattended uh, because it is a fire hazard. Keep the kids, keep the dogs, keep the cats um, and the distractions separated from your working space when you're doing this. It won't take very long for this wax to go from this solid form to the melted form. And I've set up my workspace for once that's melted. I'm just going to turn the handle out of the way. I have a piece of, of parchment paper down and I'm going to wax on the parchment paper. Here's my thread and I have a, a brush to brush the wax on and as soon as, as soon as my wax melts we'll be good to go. As soon as the wax is, has liquefied I'm ready to go ahead and paint my thread and all I do just sort of stretch it out here. Don't worry about your drips. Don't worry. It's going to glub up and uh, as it cools it will you know make these nasty globby places. Um, but we'll, we'll take care of that in the next step. And I am not really trying to saturate this and just getting enough wax on here that it starts to behave the way I want it to. So now you can see, you know, it's kind of stiffer and it's got these whitish patches. It smells really good. I love the smell of the beeswax. But we're going to go get the globby factor reduced here next. To do that, I lay down some old fabric, put my waxed thread on top of that, put some more old fabric over the top of that, and take a hot iron as soon as it heats up and start to get that wax to uh, melt down into the fiber. And with my hot iron, I'm, I'm just going to iron over this. You can see the, the wax coming through the fabric. So just refold, keep looking at stuff. You could use 
old newspaper. Um, you can use paper towels to catch the wax, um, old fabric, whatever is at hand and doesn't take too much fuss. You might not want to use your good quilting iron, but this old iron works just fine. And flip it over, feel it, change the fabric as needed. until you've got the hand of the thread where you want it. So it doesn't feel too stiff or too waxy, but it makes it a little stronger and easier to thread. Now, honestly, right now, with my, my bifocals are in the wrong place. I can even, even without my bifocals, I can see a big lump of wax right there. So I'll get that out and just work at it until now you can do this um, with an iron I think that's the quickest and easiest for me but I've melted a little bit of wax in my time with the hair dryer if I didn't catch it while I was working at it with the iron and I've also put this uh, on baking parchment on a cookie sheet in the oven on real low temperature just to to help penetrate the fiber with that wax and once you feel like it it'll suit you this step can be done What I like to do next is wind it into a little center pull ball, um, which uh, this is the way I, what I like to work from. And I usually do this on a nost pin or, uh, well, the functional equivalent, which is for me generally a number two pencil. So I take my waxed skein, undo the ties that kept it from getting all tangled up. Find the end, and I make a little slip knot. Put it on the eraser end, and then just start wrapping in a figure of eight motion. I'm going to stop the camera. And get back a little farther so you can see this. So it's just a figure of eight and I keep rotating the pencil as I go and This will be the center pull from the middle of the ball. Just keep rotating that pencil as you go. And when I've got it mostly wound on. I'll just tie this off around there and slide it off and there's my center pull ball. And now I have hand dyed linen thread in the colors that I want and the range of colors that I like rather than a, a flat solid color. 
and the thread is lightly waxed just the way I like it. Hope that helps you. I'm Donna Kellner. I'll see you next time.